Hey everybody, Robinson DUP here. Let me uh, stop hiding my face. I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit while I'm doing some of my working sets today at 275. You know, uh, I constantly come across people who are always like, well, so-and-so says this, so-and-so says that. They say you're wrong. They say they know better. And it's always like this constant debate of training methodology, supplementation, diet, Etc. 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 So, here's what I say to so and so. A lot of the so and sos out there in three to five years will have made no progress whatsoever. So and so in five years will still be making the same excuses that they're making now, and they'll be talking about how oh, they gotta switch their pre-workout, or it's the creatine that they're using, or they need a need a different variation of, of a protein shake that's going to change something. Here's my philosophy on stuff. Five years ago when I started getting into natural bodybuilding, I stuck to a methodology and I haven't really strayed from it all that much for five years. Um, I've always used some variants of frequency and volume and periodization over time, usually four week spans. Um, you know, I was doing daily undulating periodization. Now I'm using small love right now with still some of the components of daily undulating periodization in it, um, as well as accessory work to continue uh, increasing my muscle hypertrophy for bodybuilding. Um, I don't train one methodology or the other because I like to have a certain amount of strength, and I also like to train a certain amount of volume, um, and it just works very, very well for me and my body type. Um, so why am I gonna screw with something that works? If I sit here every day and doubt myself, question myself, thinking that, something is always better. I'm always chasing something um, and I'm going to end up getting little to no progress versus if I stick to a particular program for an extended period of time, I will get results. The debate of optimal is a matter of personal opinion. Um, everybody's different. This works well for me. It has worked very well for me. I've had a major transformation in my body, especially with the, the training program that I've been using. But at the same time, you know, I get tired of hearing about fasted cardio versus regular cardio. You know, listen, do what you want to do. If you feel better doing it fasted, do it fasted. It's not scientifically better than anything, but, you know, training, doing cardio on an empty stomach, sometimes easier than doing it on a full stomach. Cool. No problem. Um, if you like, if it fits your macros and you're using it the right way, so be it. I mean, you can eat 90% whole foods or clean, whatever you want to call it, and still fit in that 5 to 10% of normal foods and live a well-balanced life and make incredible progress. There's no reason why you can't. Um, all the bros who say you can't, uh, I've gotten on stage next to you, I've had shredded glutes, I've been just as lean as shredded, if not more shredded than you. Um, so your theories don't hold water. It's a matter, I guess, of whatever mentality you need to get you in the mindset to keep making progress or whatever you think gives you a competitive advantage. Um, so for all the so-and-sos out there who tell me I'm doing it wrong, there are better ways, Come back to me in five years when you've made no progress and in five years when my physique's better than it is now. Um, you'll be the ones trolling me in the comments talking about your pre-workouts that you need, how that helped you set a PR while you did uh, you know, a quarter rep on squat while I'm doing squats to death. Um, I'm always learning and improving. I'm humble enough to know that I'll, I'll never be an expert at anything. I've just continued to learn and adapt and adjust. I've done that since I was 17 years old. I'm now soon to be 36, so it's 19 years of lifting. I've made a lot of mistakes doing the only body part once a week to now increasing my training frequency and it's working great. So as I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, guys and girls, hope this helps. Talk to you soon. Back to work.